Go ahead and check your Venmo mobile payment app. Do you see any free money from a stranger sitting in your account? If you do, you may be the target of a scam, unfortunately, that's affecting thousands of users. Have you ever had a friend ask to Venmo you back later, only to never hear from them again? Venmo me! Yeah, we've all been there. Today, we're deeply diving into how Venmo went from payment app darling to damaged goods in record time. What started as the easy way to connect over cash with friends somehow morphed into a total frenemy flick by the time the corporate dollars began flowing in. Venmo me. Quick and simple, just Venmo me. Hey, can you Venmo me for that pizza? Well, listen to this, a warning tonight. If you use payment app Venmo, there's a scam gaining popularity out there and it's very easy to fall for it if you aren't paying attention. But were users too quick to turn on their former payment pal? Or was something shadier brewing behind those colorful transaction feeds we all scrolled endlessly? By the end of this deep dive, stick around and decide what went down between Venmo and its users. In the meantime, please like and subscribe. Remember back in the day when Venmo first hit the scene? It must have been like 2012. All the cool kids at college were suddenly all about this new app that made dividing up cash after nights out so easy. Instead of awkwardly trying to do mental math on who owed what after multiple rounds of Jager bombs, you could just Venmo request people from your phone. I'll Venmo you for that. Word spread quickly about this payment genius among the selfie stick generation. Really easy way to pay people back and share money, especially because it's hard for everyone to go buy food, so we'll all buy food together, one person will pay for it, and then everyone pays each other back. Before you knew it, everyone was saying stuff like, just Venmo me later, whenever money came up between friends. Did you get my Venmo? It totally became a verb, which you know means it made it big time. Seeing those transaction notifications and little emoji comments people added was kind of entertaining too, if I'm being honest. Next thing you know, all sorts of interactions switched to Venmo. Splitting Spotify subscriptions, paying roommate utils, you name it. That ease of requesting specific amounts really streamlined things. The community aspect blew up too, with people posting their public transaction feed like a personal financial story. Crazy how much it blew up from those early college days, right? But as Venmo rose to the top of the digital wallet world, people started to realize this peer-to-peer -peer payment model that made it so popular had some problems too. Let me tell you about some of the key issues with platforms like Venmo when it comes to actually protecting users from fraud. It didn't take long for unsavory characters online to clock onto the opportunities Venmo presented. All that cash floating between friends started looking like a big old delicious smorgasbord to hackers and con artists. So yeah, as Venmo blew up, it was great having that cash request button always in our pockets. But there was a downside to this so-called person-to-person model that maybe we didn't totally see at first. As money is going straight from your bank account to whoever you send it to, with no middleman checking things out, it sets the perfect stage for scammers. Sneaky con artists quickly caught on to the fact that people were just casually tossing around cash between friends without much verification. All kinds of social engineering tricks started coming out of the woodwork. You know the type. Hack some profile photos or pump up some sob story about being stranded out of state without my wallet? And boom! Suddenly your money is halfway across the world before you can say, charge back. And good luck getting that dough back once it's gone, am I right? Oh god damn it! Unless you filed it under purchase protection, you're pretty much just hoping the scammer develops a conscience. Even then, Venmo claims most disputes as personal payments between friends, so their hands are tied. With these apps, remember that any money you send is gone forever. You can't pull it back. Uh-huh. Something tells me if they cared more about protecting users, they could do something. Please do something. Between all the shady friend requests and fake payment notices, it was starting to feel less like a fun way to split sushi and more like a criminal playground. Not exactly the cashless future we were betting on, if you ask me. In October 2022, word started getting around that Venmo was making some really big moves. Rumor was they were cooking up an exclusive deal with one of the biggest corporations out there. You guessed it, the titan of online shopping, Amazon. Venmo users can now spend their extra change on Amazon because Amazon is officially accepting Venmo as a payment option on both its website and mobile app. Amazon says the change gives people convenient and easy to use payment options during a busy holiday season. Now at first, it seemed like a match made in heaven. Amazon was always looking to sweeten its suite of payment options anyway. 
and Venmo must have been salivating at the chance to slap their brand all over one of the world's most visited websites. I mean, talk about exposure. Suddenly, every time someone checks out their card on Amazon, there's a shiny new Venmo button winking at them like, Remember me! All those impulse buys and last-minute gifts meant a landslide of new potential users for Venmo to snag. Plus, for people already deep in the Venmo lifestyle, having their payment info already connected would make impulse shopping that much more impulse. Just one quick tap and bam, two-day shipping on those matching bestie pajamas before the taste even left your mouth. Talk about expanding your customer base. The opportunities were endless, it seemed. Two behemoths joining forces, what could possibly go wrong? Well, it didn't take long before some not-so-rosy details started bubbling up about the Venmo Amazon dance. Word on the street was reports of fraud were spiking like nobody's business. Unfortunately, scams are all too common on Venmo. Given the nature of peer-to-peer -peer payments on Venmo, where money is sent directly from one bank account to another, fraudsters have figured out how to game the system from the early days. Venmo's network continues to grow, makes it pretty easy for people to pay friends and others. Uh, there have been scammers who have taken notice and increasingly come up with some interesting ways to scam One you of out of your money. One of the most prevalent scams involves accidental money transfers. Venmo scammers will send money to an unsuspecting user using a stolen credit card. They then contact the recipient claiming it was a mistake and ask them to send the funds back to their Venmo account. The new scam involves a stranger sending you money claiming it was by accident, then requesting you to send money back as a new payment. However, once Venmo inevitably discovers the fraudulent initial transaction, it will recoup the money from the recipient's account. So not only is the victim out the funds they sent back to the scammer, but Venmo will also retrieve the illicit payment that was originally sent from their balance as well. Once a payment clears Venmo, it cannot be reversed. Victims are usually left with no means of dispute or recovery through Venmo itself. Disputes between users are not typically resolved in the customer's favor by Venmo. The better approach for victims of Venmo scams is often directly contacting their personal bank to file a dispute or seek assistance, as Venmo customer support provides little intervention in fraud cases or reimbursement for users who fall prey to common tricks on the platform. But these common tricks shouldn't exist if Venmo did their job well. Overall, Amazon scam reports tied to Venmo payments had skyrocketed a staggering 500% between mid-2020 and 2021, with victims collectively scammed out of pocket of over $27 million. No small change. You can imagine the number of chargebacks piling up on Amazon's end as that number keeps ballooning. Having to refund that much dough would send any company's finances reeling. It's no wonder Amazon publicly acknowledged scams as a major problem on their platform around this time. They needed to get a handle on the situation, and fast before it seriously damaged their bottom line. With losses mounting in the millions, thanks to all the easy fooling going on through Venmo, the writing was on the wall, this partnership just wasn't sustainable. All that turnover definitely forced Amazon's hand to rethink its strategy. Rumor has it, they severed ties not long after as a result. Can't say I blame them frankly, not when they're shelling out $27 million and then some to clean up after Venmo's security lapses. In the end, Venmo's flaws cost them dearly. After their prolific scams peaked in 2021, wiping out $27 million from victims and burdening merchants with 500% more chargebacks, Trust took a nosedive. User growth flatlined as reports had one in three Venmo customers hit by fraud in 2022 alone. With little support, 70% felt abandoned by a platform once seen as carefree fun. In response, Venmo and its parent company PayPal said they take safety and security seriously. In addition to proactively leveraging sophisticated fraud detection tools, manual investigations, and partnering closely with law enforcement agencies to protect our customers against common scams, we have several options in place to enable enhanced layers of security and protection directly within our apps," a PayPal spokesperson said in a statement. Venmo has been scrambling for damage control ever since, and it's everybody's guess if they are doing a good job of it. Well, that's it for today's video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the post notification so you won't miss more videos like this. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching.